Hey, how are you? My name is Emilio from Stella. And if you're watching this video, you may have a Mac that is struggling to start up. Now it is very rare, but from time to time, a Mac can actually have boot up problems where the Mac either goes into a loop where it just cannot boot up to the Mac OS operating system or it just doesn't turn on at all. The longer you have a Mac, the more software you're installing it, the more your hardware is being used from time to time. In very rare circumstances, you may encounter problems booting up. We're gonna be covering six different steps, six different techniques that you can be looking at putting into place if you are having these problems on your Mac. Number one is to listen to your Mac's startup tones. When you power on your Mac, you should normally hear a chime that sounds something like this. That's normally a sign that your Mac is working and that is booting correctly. If it's not, then you'll have to do some further troubleshooting. This could also involve just powering down your Mac for a few minutes and then trying again and restarting it. The second thing you could try is try booting your Mac into safe mode or safe boot. Safe mode is a great way to ensure that your Mac can boot with limited resources. To get into safe mode, power on your Mac by holding down the shift key and then push that power button. With your Mac starting with limited resources and limited software, you can then do some troubleshooting. It means that your data is still available. There could be some issues that need to be fixed by a disk utility or a reinstallation of Mac OS. Number three is using Disk Utility. Now, Disk Utility is an application that is built into every single Mac. And when you do start up your Mac, you already have Disk Utility right in there. And I would recommend that you run it generally from time to time, maybe once or twice a month. But if you can't even get into a Mac, you can still boot into Disk Utility. And that's what number three is. So if you're not even presented with a login screen on your Mac, then you can actually get to the Disk Utility by powering on your Mac and holding a special key. Now on an M1 Mac, all you have to do is hold down that power button, hold it down for a number of seconds. If you are not on an M1 Mac, you're running an Intel Mac, then you have to hold a different key, which is the Command and the R key, and then power on your Mac. The disk utility will be the bottom option listed. Disk utility will then open up, and then you need to go and select your hard drive and press on the first aid button. Running first aid on every hard drive on your Mac may actually fix any errors that you may be encountering on your disk, allowing your Mac to boot up correctly. Number four is to use a couple of commands, either the PRAM or the NVRAM. These are some commands that will help you to reset some of the backend settings on your Mac and clear up any errors if there are any. Sometimes your Mac may actually have these boot issues because some settings have become corrupted. To clean up any potential problems that your Mac may be experiencing, power it on while holding Command, Option, P and R. Continue to hold those while you power it on. PRAM will then be reset on your Mac and your Mac may then reboot correctly. Number five is to reinstall Mac OS. Now, if these previous four options have not worked, then the next option is to try to look at doing a recovery of your Mac OS operating system. So generally, it's a good practice to have your Mac backed up quite regularly. So in the event that it does have a problem and you do need to reinstall Mac OS, you can get a restoration of all of your backup data. But just be aware that you could lose data, you may not, but you could, so just be aware of that when you are reinstalling Mac OS. Now again, if you are on an M1 Mac, the process will be different to an Intel Mac. On an M1 Mac, you hold down that power button down for a number of seconds. On an Intel Mac, you wanna hold down the Command and R key and then power on your Mac. You'll then be presented with some options there, with one of the options being reinstall Mac OS, and in my case, Mac OS Monterey. Then follow the standard steps to reinstall Mac OS. And the last option is to create a recovery drive. We're gonna be using some software by Stella to actually help you to create a recovery drive onto a USB and try getting to your Mac that way. Now what you'll need is Stella's data recovery software. You need to go and download that completely for free off the internet and install it onto another Mac to create your recovery disk. You then open up that software and click on the create recovery drive on the bottom left hand corner. 
You wanna ensure that you've got a USB hard drive that is compatible and click on create recovery drive. Remember that all data on that USB drive is going to be deleted. We then select OK. The recovery disk will then be created and is completed successfully. We now grab that USB drive and plug it into the Mac that had the problem. You wanna power on the Mac holding down that option key. If everything has worked correctly, you'll be presented with a window such as this with recovery drive listed and select Stellar Data Recovery from the list and select continue. Ensuring that all of these options are ticked, we can click on scan and we scan our hard drive on our Mac that is having trouble booting. It will scan, you then select the files that you wanna be able to recover and then select recover to get those files back. So they were the six steps to try to get your Mac booted up if it happens to be stuck. Why don't you let us know in the comments how you went and do remember to also subscribe, clicking on the button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our future video releases and also like this video if you did find it helpful. Thanks so much for watching again. My name is Amelia from Stella. We'll talk to you next time.